Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, May 30th. <laughs> Cutting is really close. But this is my um, May's calendar... Uh, I forgot the hashtag. <laughs> calendar Cow Fun or Fun Calendar Cow. I can't remember. It'll be in the title. <laughs> um, for this calendar. Yeah. So here's the calendar. Had to edit out a sneeze. <laughs> Let's see here. So for May this month, open it into the calendar. It was a blanket square. Here's the big picture of it. Really pretty. I actually really like this square pattern. It's super easy. After I made one, I memorized it, and I just made the other ones that I made really quickly. So there's um, the picture in the calendar, and the pattern is by Mandy O'Sullivan from Red. Red Agape. I'm pretty sure all the patterns in this uh, calendar is from her. Very simple pattern. The pattern that comes in the back of the calendar is the square and then it tells you how to join it for the blanket and it also has the border on there. I uh, I procrastinated forever because <laughs> I was very busy this month um, and I didn't start on this project until last Wednesday so I was kind of close you know I was, I was in the last week of May but I did make six of the squares and I used some yarn that I just bought recently at Hobby Lobby. It is a Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle called Just Relax. It was the blue tones. I just purchased it. Uh, it's It was $5.99, but it was 30% off of that. And it's 97% cotton, 3% metallic polyester. It's a number three and uh, 335 yards each. I used probably a cake and a half, but I have a little bit from each cake left over. Uh, because of the colors. I wanted it to line up a certain way. <laughs> but anyways, so here I'll show you my squares tonight first. There's the first three. It's not blocked at all. I just finished it. <laughs> so there's the first three squares. And here's this other three squares that I made. So they are kind of glittery. They're metallic. I made all the squares from one cake and then I made the inside part of the thing that I made <laughs> out of the other cake. That's why I have a little bit left over. Because I wanted the colors flowing. I didn't want there to be breaks. But what I made with it was a table runner. So there's one end. With the three across. And then I made a huge meshy center. <laughs> and then three um, squares at the end. It probably needs to be blocked a little bit. But I'm not going to be... I might block it once. Just take pictures of it. And then it will probably never be blocked again. Because it's a table runner. So it's going to get dirty. And then have to be washed. I'm not going to block it every time I wash it. But I will lay it out here in the floor in a minute. And take a picture and insert it. So you can see the whole thing. <laughs> you could easily make it to fit any size table. Um, super easy. So I just I followed the pattern for the squares. And then for the, the meshy part. I just sewed the three squares together. With uh, like a whip stitch. And then along the top of the first one. Which was this side. I... Jesse's talking. <laughs> Daddy's in there with him though. I, um, I, I slip stitched and chained uh, five because it counted as a double crochet and chain two. And then I double crocheted in between two of the double crochets here on this pattern. And I did that all the way through there making the mesh. And then I just kept doing that. On the beginning of the row I would chain five to represent a, chain, a double crochet and a chain two. And then I just double crocheted in each Double crochet across and chain two. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, all the way across. <laughs> just a mesh. I just like mesh stuff. I don't know why, but I really like this meshy. This would be like a cool top, you know, the colors and all that. And then just flow it into the other colors. And then the other side, uh, since I joined the yarn to the first side, I just sewed it to the second side. So, um, it's not perfect, but I love it. And I, like I said, I'm going to lay it out here on the floor, take a picture of it, and insert it for you guys to see the whole thing. Because <laughs> it's kind of hard to get it all in the frame. But yeah, it could, it could be a wrap too, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed making this. So this is the yarn that I had left over. I still got quite a bit of it. And um, this big one is from the second cake, the mesh part. This little one is from the first cake w that I made the squares out of. Uh... I probably could have got seven squares out of it. I could probably make one more of those squares. But I'm not sure what I'll do this. It is cotton yarn, so I might make some kind of cloth or something with it. But I'll just put it in my scraps for now. And yeah, I was excited. I used a G-hook for that. 
I think that's what the pattern calls for. Well, it calls for a four millimeter. I think I used a 4.5. No, I used a four. <laughs> I lied, but I used just a G hook and uh, for the squares and the mesh. And it went pretty quick because this meshy bit's really easy to just set and do. <laughs> I was watching TV mostly while doing it. But yeah, I like it a lot. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, I'll link all the other people who are participating in this cow down below. So you can check out what their made projects are. And now, for June's project, it is another blanket. I don't know if it's made in squares, though. Alright, so the picture is right here. It is this one. It's real pretty. I like the pom-poms on the end. But that's the uh, picture of it. Let me look at the pattern here. Let's see here. Yes, it is made in squares. They look like they're pretty big squares with the flower in the center and then um, white around it. Right here's one. There's the beginning of it and this is the outside of it, I think. Yeah. And then they're joined together. I don't know what I'll make with that. I might make a blanket or I might go and make something different. It looks pretty easy. It's just a one piece of paper. It's about the same size as the other one. It's a square pattern, how to join it, and the border. And then adding the pom-poms. And it is by Radigape too. It's called a Spring Rainbow Blanket. If I can find the patterns on her website, I will link both of them down below. So you can see both of them. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. And I could try to start on that one sooner. <laughs> instead of waiting until the last minute. But we've just been real busy. And we're going to be busier now. Because Jesse's karate, now that summer has started... Uh, there's going to be an extra day a week, so now he's going to have karate four days a week instead of three. So, And the new day is earlier in the day. It's at one instead of in the afternoon. So we're going to be busy doing that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys like my table runner. I've been wanting to make a table runner forever, and now I finally made one. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited about that. I do need to take a good picture of it. Got to remember to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so... Now I got that done. I used up some yarn that I bought. I'm working on using this yarn too. It's in the living room, the first ball. I'm making hippo finally. Michelle released her pattern and I bought it. <laughs> so I'm working on my first hippo. And uh, yeah, I need to get something else started. I don't know what. I'll find something to do. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.